right, hello, wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday. Always happy to see our friends from Napa Valley, especially when they're from um, wineries like Hourglass. These guys produce outstanding wines, and uh, not a lot. I'll tell you, their Lodi Lane property just produces 21 barrels, their original wines made at Pride by uh, Mr. Bob Foley. And uh, let me tell you, uh, these wines have been outstanding from day one. They've got another property here that's located at Dutch Henry Canyon at the point where these two blue streams meet, thus the name um, Blue Line, and uh, both of these properties producing top-level wines. The Sauvignon Blanc, a relative value. I always say it's a cheap date for Napa Valley. This 2015 vintage uh, showing beautiful, rich concentration on the nose, grapefruit, citrus, Jolly Rancher candy-like uh, with a little bit of a barrel aging here. They use cigar barrels, gives it a creamy texture, pretty floral note on the nose as well. A thousand cases produced and um, we're looking to get this wine up to about 15,000. But uh, this wine's got a lovely richness on the palate, nice texture of whole milk, some tangy acidity, a nice mineral pop on the finish, leaving the tongue salivating for food. One of the things we love about Sauvignon Blanc, and uh, this wine's got great aging potential as well. Another character uh, most people don't think about with Sauvignon Blanc at 33.75, the best value in the lineup, the white wine, always. All right, the Estate Merlot, and these guys make a Cabernet drinker's Merlot. A lot of people do not give Merlot the respect, but Napa Valley makes great Merlot. There's a little bit of Cabernet Sauvignon, Petit Verdot in here. The nose has got lovely richness, dark plum, cherry, uh, liqueur-like fruit, uh, really uh, some lovely sweet herb and milk chocolate notes shown as well. A very ripe and rich plush texture, really velvety. One of the things we love about Merlot, the texture, not quite as tannic as Cabernet Sauvignon, but has a lovely freshness. And uh, despite the 15.4% alcohol, whoo, hoo uh, still very good on the second day. So you can tell a wine that's balanced. It's high in alcohol. Try it the next day, which this blue line is State Merlot 2014. 13 and 14, two great vintages. To me, 14 drinks better right now, even than the 13s, even though it's a little younger. But uh, this wine has a little bit of uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and Petit Verdot Malbec. Only 1,000 cases of this produced. And a little more reserved bouquet, but lots of that dark cherry, liqueur-like fruit still, plum, and notes of mint and cocoa on the nose. Really dense and rich on the tongue. This wine had some fine, silky tannins, a firm hand of acidity, a long, layered finish. Uh, definitely could use a little time. Merlot ages very well. And uh, like I said, it's got the other board varietals in there as well. The H3, a new wine from these guys. And the, the three stands for the three different varietals. And this is the only one that's non-estate in the lineup here. And a very good example of a Bordeaux blend featuring Merlot from Napa Valley. Lovely cigar, mint, dark chocolate notes on the nose. Blueberry, blackberry, currant fruits. A nice amount of that dark berry fruit on the palate. Smooth, silky tannins. Ready to drink right now. All really excellent stuff here from uh, Hourglass Winery. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.